Miss Ross today. She's going to be talking to us about what it's like on the other side, not as a staff nurse, as a manager. She's going to be talking to us as a manager and someone who interviews us. Let us hear what she has to say about how we come in on the interviews and how we perform on our board, on the floors, how we behave as staff nurses. Let's hear the flip side, Nurse Ross. <laughs> All right, nice. Yeah, so your whole deportment, how you carry yourself. So confidence in an interview, you need to... Mm -hmm. You know, be confident in your answers. Mm -hmm. Use your initiative well mm -hmm. in terms of if they ask you a question. Be truthful. Is that is the worst thing is to lie on an interview because <laughs> there might be a quest you might say something on truth in this question, but then you get another question following truth to that, and then you don't even know how to answer. So then you see that you're not telling the whole truth. Wow. So you need to be truthful. Because remember, you know, you're going into, in, into um, a realm where you need to be truthful. You are going to be a nurse. So mm -hmm. if you start by not telling the truth, am I sure you are giving the medication you're supposed to give to the patient? All right. If you did, you know, so yeah, you, you need to be truthful, right? Um, One question, because I, uh -huh. I heard a lot of my colleagues say this. You guys will ask us on the interview, why do you want to be a nurse? We all say... I like caring for people. Is it of a course. redundant? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Is it a redundant question? It is. It is. is. And I try not, I don't ask that question. Because the thing is, you're already a nurse. And another, and that's the next question. The other question that seems seemingly redundant is where you want to see yourself in the next five years. But that is an internal thing, that I, as I said. You need to know where you want to be in the next five years and move towards that. Mm -hmm. But it also is also is good in saying it because then we know, okay, like if you tell me you're now coming into this and in the next five years you tell me, oh, I want to be um, I want to be the principal of this school. <laughs> you <tell> me, <laughs> <laughs> that's disjointed. That that exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> well, not, not, not in five years. And I'm not saying that you cannot be the principal of the school of nursing, but not in not five years. Not five years. Not yes. five years. <laughs> All right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yeah, but you know, a lot of, um, even um, when you when you speak, you know, you, we, we get from you when you give your answers, how honest, the potential, some of the potential, although you can mask it and say certain things, but I always tell people, you know, be honest, be truthful. Another yeah. question we ask, especially in the, in within this region because our region is very wide, you know, our area. Yeah, is very big. big. Um, well, for very region, big. for guys who are not from about China, us. region, region is um like a community. Provinces, that provinces, areas. Yeah, yes. that they yes. take care of. Yeah. Right. So they can, because the region is like that, you can be posted any part of the region to work. Yeah. So sometimes somebody from Guayaguara, which is in the southern part of the region, may come for an interview. And we will ask them, or oh, um, are you willing to work in the northern part of the region in Kitsenia, Togo? And they will tell you, oh, yes, yes, my support system is very good. My husband is, I am more custom getting up early. They tell you all <laughs> what you want to hear. They always, they always have a very good support system. They, it, working shift is not a problem. Nothing. And then they start, they get through, and they start, and three months down the road, they tell you, well, it is, and it's reached them too late, and the, you know, the shift, the, the shift is it's not convenient. I only want to work morning shift. I can't work night because I can't drive in the night. I don't see good. I don't, all, any possible quest, any possible reason to avoid the shift. But just not within the six months, you would have said something. So. Yeah. Does it make sense, you know, if it is that you're coming with medical things, you have to have supporting documents and stuff that we think. And just go with the flow then and see if we, we could accommodate you, maybe change your shift around and all that. But so then uh, they, they know how to what to say sometimes to make it sound very good and flowery, but in essence, you are not, it's not about it's not a game. 
Yeah. End of the day, you're coming into a field and it's it very demanding. Mm -hmm. And it, you you have to you have to be able to be flexible. Hmm. So, so I have seen I have I have seen a trend of of over the years in all the years I've been doing nursing I have seen a trend of nurses don't want to work night shift. What oh. is your what is your thought on that nurses? Because to me, I I like working night shift. I work night shift, but I like working night shift. But mm -hmm. um. I like it for the autonomy. On night shift, you have more autonomy. You are in more That's control right. of your shift. That's right. right? That's right. So you get management skills. Your management skills are better. That's right. Thinking, That's thinking right. More enhanced. But mm -hmm. what, is, what do you think about nurses coming into the program, knowing nursing is a job that they could work all year? They work morning, they work night. That's right. But as you, just like what you said, they come, into the, they come in and they get the job, and then three months or six months later, they come with a story. They don't have support take care of the kids or they don't have this and they don't have that and then when the head nurse or the manager says to them well i cannot do that because it will mean somebody else yes, exactly. that in bad that that's what you want to do exactly, exactly. yeah so it's mm -hmm. like what you think about that because it's a culture i notice is developing amongst us exactly it is. come in with this story yeah. and when you listen to these stories you ask yourself you know it's nothing mm. you're doing, right? Yeah, yeah. Is it legit? Is it legit? <laughs> wow. So as a head nurse and I'm and a supervisor, we always get these things. And as I said, nurse, I like to do things fairly. I like to do things with a balance. You came into nursing, it was not, it's not an eight to four job. It is mm -hmm. not like that. Knowing fully well we have shift. Mm -hmm. And that is why, as I had this, I had a employed. The junior staff, I gave every try to give everybody a month doing the off duty. <laughs> when you do the off duty, you get the experience of knowing how to balance it and seeing how sometimes when you make a request, you cannot always grant a request because at yes. the end of the day, not everybody have off duty. Because where I am, my mm -hmm. manager, um, we have something called a line in Bermuda. We have a line, like how the mm -hmm. police officers they know their roster and they can tell you to next year. How they okay. Oh, so that's how our roster, our roster works. But she can okay. change the shift. Like when right. she come with those stories about right. they can't work night, she could change the shift to facilitate that. But right. because of the fact that it's a standard shift, like when you get hired, you get a shift. So okay. you know how you'll be working. For the rest, can't okay. be modified okay. that much. Right. Okay. And I know in the like, US, they well, hire we, you know, as you know, we, we don't have it that way. We don't no, have you that. You have to get your roster every week. Right. Why, yes. why don't they try it that way instead of making a roster every week? What's the reason for the roster? Um, I I really don't know. I can't answer that. Maybe because because of the the fact that it's always changing. We have so many different persons with different requests mm. and trying to facilitate the request because there's some who would want for me because. Who go into school to facilitate people who go into school they may want a, a particular night to work and all that and they will then they work along because we have so many different shifts and all that because hmm. i you know, know that that might be that might be it might be kind of difficult and you know we like to we like things streamlined easy kind of thing we hate change yes we don't like change yeah we don't like change yeah, we just don't like change at so all even <laughs> when somebody comes with those requests and they can't do nights and it has to be, you know, we have to have, we have to sit down with them, talk with them, find out what is the reason. I mean, you yeah. can't tell me you can't do nights because you have, you have a child and you have no support or something. There are things you can do. Yeah. Right? And at the end of the day, your roster is made this week for next week. So you have enough time to put things in place. Yes. Right? It's not like you, today, you know, you're working tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. Which is something that you know, if it's if it's done that way, I could understand that you can't you can't put things in place. But yeah. you have a week or so. You have even if you want to say, well, okay, let me let me, and we facilitate. Sometimes we give you, okay, we we will may give you one night, a fortnight, or one night every eight or nine, ten days. Yeah. Which is which is fair. I mean, some because some of the wards they have permanent night shift person, so. The, war, the, the nights are covered, so your night might only come around every fourth night. And yeah. then you're telling me you can't work night? <laughs> I mean, sometimes, you know, we have to, you have to, be, you have to think about it. And so you have to sit and listen to the issue. Try to work out 
a plan with them because when we're in a situation, so then we only see up to here. We don't see where. So I might have to use some of the experiences that I have and say, listen, it have this. You could get, ask a cousin, ask a neighbor, somebody to come. Because I did it. I yeah. did it. I employed, I employed somebody just to be in my house to, to keep my son company. Yeah. That was all they were doing. Yeah. When I woke night, you come in and you stay. And that was it. Evening time after his school, you come in. You're, after school, you're there for him until I come home seven eight o'clock, and that's it. I don't need you to wash. I don't need you to cook. I don't need you to do anything. Just probably make a little sandwich for him. Or so. so we have to do, but it, may, it it will not come at no expense. You may have to spend a little money together, or mm -hmm. get a cousin, a little nurse, niece, or somebody, somebody that is old enough to make sure that your, your child is in a safe place because you don't want to give it. Tell you well. You can't do that, but we we'll work around it. So you yeah, uh you believe that when we come into this nursing job, we need to be aware, fully a hundred percent aware of what we're signing up for. What you're signing up Understand for. that you know not everything we want we can get immediately. Exactly. Because it's let's say on a ward you might have twenty RN, ten EDs, and let's say everybody have a request. That's going yeah, to be yeah. that's crazy. You can't, you crazy. You can't facilitate yeah. everybody. No. no. So no. I think that that's very education. It's very informative. Then, to somebody on the other side of the, of the, the other side. That's right. So I, to just recently, team. I'll give you a, a little example. Just recent, mm -hmm. there was a nurse. Any, she mm -hmm. was. She wanted. They were working like teams. That is in COVID time. They were working in teams, and she wanted a particular day off mm -hmm. but that day off was her team day to work so she mm -hmm. was the only person only ENA rusted to work that day. Mm -hmm. so she came and she asked me about if I could change it I said but I can't change it because this is your team this is how you are working mm -hmm. what it is you have to do mm -hmm. she said um it is her son's birthday and she planning her part however she was off three days before. So she could have planned, put things in place. And the party the day before. Yeah. yeah. And so I told her, I said, you know how many family gatherings I've missed? You know how many outings I've missed? I know how many things I've missed and because I have to work. Yeah. I said, you know, you have to know what it is. I said, have a chat with your child. Plan the party the day before or so, or even mm -hmm. if let the party be the day when you come home in the evening time, you may be allowed to leave a little early mm -hmm. so that you can get a go and have the party. Yeah, because at that time we were not gathering, so it had to be something at home you're planning. Yeah, yeah. Time. And she was most upset. Most, most upset. But I, I tell her, I say I can't she, I, I mean, it was something, she told me she had an appointment. So I thought it was something like with a doctor or something. And I was yeah. saying, like, let me see, bring the evidence, let me see. And I could, and then she told me it's her son, baby, she planned. And I, I'm like, yeah. So, so you have to weigh, you have to weigh, you have to be have weigh, to. balance, balance things and see, because at the end of the day, I tell persons, you work in an institution. You have to you have to alter to suit the institution. The institution can alter to suit you all the time. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this is the that system is you have to yes you bend to suit this because this is it. And as much as and at the end of, I say you understand that you're working in teams and this is how it is. It's not to say if it was a normal if it was a normal shift I could have said well okay somebody could work here for you. Yeah, I can swap it out. Yes, it could have swapped it out and it would have been easy. But at the time, what was happening because of COVID, that was it. It could not have worked that way. Well, from what I'm getting from talking to you as management, I'm getting yeah. that one. We as the staff, we should understand that you guys are not personally attacking us. Oh. <laughs> you all are not personally attacking oh. us. You're trying to keep the place in order and not chaos. That's and right. You need to be a bit considerate and understand the job we signed up for and understand how it works before you become a nurse. You can't come into nursing not thinking that you wouldn't work nights, you wouldn't work evening shift, and you wouldn't miss family gatherings and miss days that you might want to do something. Like in right. Trinidad Tobago, we have a lot of festivities. Holidays, oh, yes. festivities, that's right. Yes. And in other parts of the world, like <laughs> especially like in the US, they have um Christmas, people, everybody wants to be home for Christmas, Labor Day, 
In Bermuda, we have cup match. So it have days that people need to understand you will not be able to get to be home all the time. But you have to be and considerate that that, is, that comes with the job. That is part that's of it. Right. That's right. And in management, I always tell the head nurses and I look at the balance because have some people, yes, you love Christmas. You cannot get Christmas holidays every year. Yeah. There are other people, and so some people who want Christmas, they want Easter, they want August, July, August vacation. You can't have everything, and those are peak times. So you know you have to draw, draw a balance. And yeah. and the thing is, you know, and that will make sure that everybody gets a fair share of the pie, and everybody will be happy, and everybody can say, well, okay, this year I get Christmas. You somebody else have who got Christmas last time could work, and mm -hmm. and then it have those that they don't they don't bother with nothing. They don't care for nothing. So you know you have those people that you can work with and all that. And swing things around but people need to know that everything's supposed to be done in a fair way and in a balanced way to make okay. sure that the whole institution yeah. moves well and we balance things around beautiful i like that i yes. really enjoyed this, this chat with people <laughs> management because you know we don't really get to talk to you guys and, and you're always busy you guys always have meetings and stuff and all these things yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. to get to hear the management side so yeah. because you know we always look at our side because we look at ourselves yes. but we don't yes. see the other person who has to take care of all of this all the, yes yeah and it's not yeah. one word always yeah. it's not one word it's everybody so if every word have an issue every i have to deal with everybody's issue yes yes right so that's a lot yes. so if we be yes. a little so more have to prioritize you have to see what makes most the most sense of all yeah. even like sometimes when persons don't come to work and we have to move persons yeah you know sister you're moving me i try not to move the same person so if i know you got moved the last time i ain't touching you this time <laughs> you know, i'll say well, somebody else and some people have this idea oh this they see you must see senior on the ship and I, I, I it happened already and i said you were last to come you came in last so my my reason for moving you is because you came last so you will yes, have nothing to do with seniority. So you signed it to work class. You were the person to sign in to work class. Yeah, you okay. came in late. You were the yeah, person that came in. in late. So therefore you will move because the others have would have already settled in and started doing their work. And it's only fair. Yeah. It's only fair. That's fair. Yes. Right? Yes. So I always try to do things in a fair way. And I tell the persons I say, I might be harsh, but I'm not evil. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, right. I want to thank you today for coming and chatting with us. I hope that our my colleagues and all my that my nursing sisters and brothers, I hope that they heard what it is like to be a manager, a nurse manager, a nurse supervisor, that it's not as easy as we think being on the floor, working at the bedside, looking at you guys, thinking that, hey, they don't have to deal with all the drama with the patient, but you guys have to deal with the drama of us, right. which is not as easy <laughs> as we make it sound. That's so, right. Um, well, for that insight into the manager, the management of nursing side of this. Right. Yes. I'd like to thank you, Alicia, for Ms. Nurse Ross for oh, taking, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> for taking the time and um chatting with us today. And mm -hmm. we hope we'll chat with you another time. All right, time. great. Yes. Yes, it was it was my pleasure. It was my pleasure. Thank you so so much. Awesome. And keep on doing a good job. I'm so proud of you. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. And guys, I would like you all to remember, nurses always do it better because we are so special. Don't ever forget that. And look again every Saturday. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Bye. Bye. Thanks.